Here's a crazy interesting post you may have forgotten about. On May 23, 1976, a woman revealed that she was being paid by the government to have sex with a member of Congress. Here's what happened. By the early 1970s, Ohio Congressman Wayne Hayes was one of the most powerful men in Congress, serving as the head of the Committee for House Administration. The role had him overseeing all congressional travel, employment of staff, and congressional payroll. As is in his purview, in 1974, Hayes hired Elizabeth Ray as his personal clerk and secretary. Despite the fact that she couldn't type, couldn't file, and had trouble answering phones. As such, she only spent a few hours in the congressman's D.C. office one or two days a week, with the bulk of her responsibilities encompassing dinner dates around town and dessert back at her apartment for the two of them. The arrangement worked well until 1976, which is when Hayes married a different member of his secretarial staff. The affair continued and Ray stated she had no issue with her boss's recent marriage. But she was infuriated when she wasn't invited to the wedding reception. Shortly after that, she started inviting reporters to spy on her and Hayes so that she could go public with her story. Hayes, of course, denied the relationship until reporters came forward with details of the dates that they had witnessed. The scandal effectively ended his political career, forcing him to step down from his position on the Administrative Committee on June 18th and resign from Congress altogether on September 1st. As for Ray, she moved out west to pursue her Hollywood dreams, which landed her on the pages of Playboy and Hustler and then into the annals of obscurity. So there it is. In 1976, one of the most powerful politicians in the country spent government funds to hire himself a mistress, and all it cost him was his career. How's that for a crazy interesting post?